can't believe it. They get married, you know, then they, they, they get married to, uh, to these people who are remarkable people. Like, you know, I choose as friends. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're forced to be relatives with somebody, but I, I choose them as friends. They're, so, they're such beautiful people. I get my appreciation. I get to watch my beautiful nieces and nephews grow up. Right? It's just remarkable. Uh, and tonight, uh, there's a friend of mine, uh, Tom Flint, who's been here for 50 years. We've been almost friends for 50 years. It's just, uh, it's just I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate uh, my remarkable family, my wife, Sue and I, for 40 years been together. Uh, I'm not married. 36 married. You know? But 40 years. Uh, every time I hear the beautiful Jackson Brown song as my stunning mystery companion, I think of her as a companion, you know? I think of my, uh, my incredibly remarkable, I appreciate my remarkable sons, uh, like and, and Brian, just, uh, you know, just remarkable young men. I love uh, my new daughter-in-law, Kate, who's got that twinkle in her eye, as you can see, you saw her there. Every day is a good one for her. And she's infusing my beautiful granddaughter, uh, 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 Jane, with that same kind of lust for life and love of life. Uh, it's just remarkable. Uh, the person I kind of left out is my, my uh, remarkable daughter, Kate. Can you believe that we had a DNA test, right? <laughs> to prove that I'm actually her father. Because <laughs> she's so beautiful and I'm so average. <laughs> Uh, so, just, uh, uh, you can't, uh, you can't uh, believe the, the experience of, of being your father. I mean, you guys are smarter, richer, have better cars, boats, and all this stuff, but, but nobody here, nobody here in this room is Kate Bowler's father, and uh, it's, the, it's the greatest gift. I appreciate that she met this, uh, this, this guy named uh, Mike Dark. <laughs> And years ago, I was uh, I was uh, I was enjoying uh, my uh, uh, my old classmate from uh, high school, Tom Everly, who did a reading tonight. We do this little volunteer thing. So, like during this break in volunteering, my, uh, uh, Tom and I were talking, and, and I said, "You know, this guy's kind of new. This Tom Everly, you know? Yeah, he's my nephew." He said, uh, uh, "Mike Darkin is is, is is he's, he's top shelf. You, you, you wouldn't believe how what a great guy he is." And his brother Kevin. He said he wouldn't believe what a beautiful job that uh, that Star has done in, in raising them as, as kids. And uh, you know, uh, Tommy, when when a Waltham boy tells you, <laughs> you accept that, right? Uh, I just can't believe it. I can't believe them as a, as his companions. A number of years ago, uh, we had this kind of little conflict. I was at church, and. Uh, and I was talking, and I, and I was talking favorably about the two as, as companions. And it came off as I was like critical of my daughter as being disorganized, and Mike as being Mr. Regiment. True. And, uh, and uh, it, it wasn't that at all. I was just saying what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, companion they are. They, they're so complimentary to each other. So as a father, as you, has anybody else has had their daughter married? Yeah, Chuck. Uh, the pursuit, the pursuit, the pursuit is always to find a man that can love your daughter as much as you. And I found him. I found him. So, I'm turning over the reins to my daughter. Uh, I went over my extended time. I'm going to sit there.